What groundbreaking innovations has CATL brought this year? First up is our all new sodium ion battery brand. The CATL Naxtra battery. Brace up guys for a new shift in battery technology. Leading this innovation is the world's leading EV battery manufacturer, CATL. The new battery about to be launched has been said by top executives to take the EV battery technology to the next level. What is it about the CATL sodium ion battery that has made it gain attention in the EV battery space? For many years, sodium ion batteries have long been pointed to as a safer alternative to the common lithium ion batteries used in many EVs. In contrast to the use of lithium ion batteries, which carry a risk of fire when it has been subjected to damage or force, sodium ion batteries do the opposite. Yes, it offers a more stable and secure energy storage solution for EVs and guarantees safety to a large extent. The potential of CATL was highlighted by CATL Chief Technology Officer for EV Business, Gao Huan, during a recent announcement. In his words, he said, Sodium ion battery technology is no longer confined to laboratories. We at CATL have made breakthroughs in energy density, cost efficiency, and environmental sustainability, paving the way for mass adoption. This announcement by Gao opened the way for the release of the CATL sodium ion battery technology. Before we continue, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel with the bell notification turned on for more updates. This technology has been announced by several stakeholders at CATL to be one of a kind. However, several challenges were left to be overcome before its release. Let's examine that. Those in the EV manufacturing industry would tell you that lithium-ion batteries have been the industry's cornerstone since the industry gained acceptance. This is because lithium-ion batteries have an impressive energy density. This high energy storage capability per unit volume makes these batteries ideal for applications like electric vehicles and high-performance electronics. On the other hand, sodium-ion batteries, with their inherent lower energy density, were not favorites to be used as EV batteries even when the price of lithium-ion batteries dropped. However, Fast forward to 2025, and everything that posed a challenge to the adoption of sodium ion batteries over lithium ion batteries has changed, and CATL made sure that they took advantage of that. At Supertech Day 2025, CATL unveiled its new Naxtra battery platform. The platform offers a major leap in sodium ion battery development and promises to tackle several areas where lithium ion batteries couldn't fill the gap. Now that we've put that aside, Let's consider five facts about CAT sodium ion batteries, which could lead to the displacement of lithium ion batteries and even disrupt the entire EV industry. 1. The new battery has a robust energy density. The first production under the Nextra brand will be of a new sodium ion battery with an energy density of 175 watt hours per kilogram. This figure is nearly equivalent to the lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries popularly used in electric vehicles, and even surpasses some EV battery energy densities like the BMW i3 and the Geely Galaxy E5. On the flip side, this energy density is enough to deliver 124 miles, 200 kilometers of electric range in a PHEV, and up to 310 miles, 500 kilometers in a pure EV. Those estimates come from China's testing cycle, which is usually pretty generous with range. But those are decent numbers for city cars and micro EVs gaining popularity around the world. Even though lithium ion batteries have stood out because of the energy densities they offer, sodium ion batteries have come to take that spot. In the future, we could even see higher energy densities from sodium ion batteries. You'll agree that lithium ion batteries could become obsolete if this happens. Number 2. High performance. In extreme weather conditions, CATL says its new sodium ion battery can store a good amount of energy and can charge up to 80% in just 15 minutes at normal room temperature. Even in very cold weather, like Maeda's 20 self, it still keeps over 90% of its power. To help it function this way, CATL has created a system that lets manufacturers combine sodium ion and lithium ion batteries in one unit. The smart control system manages how the two types work together. This helps make up for the fact that sodium ion batteries don't store as much energy, while still benefiting from their fast charging and strong performance in cold weather. This solves the cold weather problem for batteries where lithium ion batteries have lacked a solution. Don't you think that this could give EVs with sodium ion batteries an edge over lithium ion batteries? 3. Offers realistic mile range. CATL's new Naxtra sodium ion battery is expected to offer a driving range of up to 310 miles 500 kilometers, on a single charge. This battery is part of CATL's broader lineup of sodium ion battery technologies. Based on the current EV technology, we can conclude that CATL was just playing safe when they mentioned the driving range of this new battery. Here's why. 
Usually, energy density indicates how much energy a battery can store per unit of weight. A higher energy density means the battery can store more energy without adding much weight. This is important if a car is to achieve a long driving range. For instance, the Tesla Model S long range model, equipped with a 100 kilowatt hours battery, achieves a range of 405 miles, 830 kilometers. Given this efficiency, a vehicle with a 175 watts per kilogram battery could potentially achieve a range exceeding 310 miles if we assume similar energy consumption rates. However, we can understand where CATL is coming from. They don't want the customers to have a very high expectation of the batteries. With time, we expect further announcements on this battery specification. 4. Extended Life Cycles CATL has emphasized that their new sodium-ion batteries possess 10,000 life cycles. If this is true, then it is expected that this battery would lead to a breakthrough in battery longevity and reliability. We say this because most current EV batteries last around 1,000 to 2,000 full cycles, which when calculated, translates to 8 to 15 years of use. Now, a battery with 10,000 full cycles and 500 kilometers per cycle offers up to 5 million kilometers, 3.1 million miles of driving over its lifetime. Do you know what that means? The battery could outlive the vehicle it is contained in and even other multiple vehicles. It would also reduce long-term ownership costs and environmental impact. On the commercial side, it could mean that high mileage services like taxis, delivery vehicles, and buses would benefit enormously. In addition, there would be lower total cost of ownership due to minimal battery replacement needs. 5. High Safety Protocol If there's one aspect that is mouth-watering about CATL's new sodium ion batteries, than it is the safety it guarantees. The company says its sodium ion battery is much safer because of the way sodium behaves. The battery does not easily firm spikes or what are called dendrites inside the battery, and it's less likely to overheat or catch fire. CAT will explain that they tested the battery far more strictly than the usual safety rules require. They even pierced and drilled the fully charged battery, and it barely gave off any smoke, no fire, and no explosion. Even cutting the battery with a saw didn't cause it to burn. The reason it's so safe is because of the electrolytes contained in the battery, which acts like a protective barrier. It helps stop heat from building up and blocks the formation of dangerous internal structures. The company calls it a kind of built-in firewall. And they made it clear that keeping the battery safe is their top priority. With this CATL sodium battery rollout, we've seen potential and what it has to offer. However, how would lithium batteries fare in the EV market? Let's consider just two areas in which lithium-ion batteries could be greatly impacted. The first area is the aspect of market share loss. If sodium-ion batteries prove to be reliable, automakers may shift towards sodium-ion to reduce costs. As you would expect, this would lead to a decline in lithium-ion battery demand, as automakers might use them in lower-cost EVs to make those cars more affordable for people. The second area could be the aspect of the manufacturing shift. Instead of producing more lithium-ion batteries, Battery manufacturers might expand to support sodium-ion battery production. This could divert capital investment away from further lithium-ion innovation leasing to stagnation in its development. Would the KDL sodium battery suffice? It seems that all areas of concern have been dealt with by CATL, especially in the area of battery life cycle and energy density. Let's have your thoughts in the comments section.